think your old Windows 10 PC can't run Windows 11 because it lacks TPM or Secure Boot? Well, that may be true in some odd cases, but today I'll walk you through another easy method for installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So let's get to it. Now, if you've tried to recently update your older Windows 10 PC to Windows 11, there's a good chance you've seen this unsupported message from Microsoft stating your PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. This has caused a bit of a stir for Windows 10 users, especially with Microsoft's end of life for Windows 10 approaching in October. Some people will buy a new PC, some people will just stay on Windows 10 to see what happens, and some people will just swap their operating systems altogether. Well, in this video, we'll look at another possible method to bypass some of these hardware requirements for those of you that want to upgrade your older PC to Windows 11. All right, to get things rolling on this upgrade, we'll wanna get a few things lined up. Firstly, if you have any important data on the PC you wish to upgrade, please be sure to have a backup of your data or better yet, a system image. Always back up important data before any major change or upgrade attempt to your PC. We have plenty of backup videos you can check out on the channel if you're unsure on how to create a backup. Next, you'll want to snag a USB flash drive of eight gigabytes or more so we can use it to build our upgrade ISO file. Now let's double check two items that we'll need to know for later. One, you'll wanna know the version of Windows you have currently installed. To do this in your taskbar search area, type Winver and hit enter. Here you'll see which version of Windows OS is installed. For my lab PC, it's the pro version. And two, you'll want to ensure you know the install language of your current Windows OS. To do this, again in your taskbar search area, type CMD, then select Run as administrator. When it opens, type the following, DISM space, forward slash online space forward slash get dash I N T L and hit enter. Here you'll see your default OS language here. I'm in the U S so it shows English U S but yours may be different. So keep this info handy as you'll need it during this process. Another key point is to know your current storage drives partition style. To do this in your taskbar search area, type disk management and click open. Now locate your disk drive that has Windows installed, usually C. Right click and select properties. Now click on the volumes tab. Here you'll see a partition style of either MBR or GPT. Our lab PC is GPT. Lastly, it would also be a good idea to make sure that your current OS is fully up to date and that all hardware drivers are updated before you attempt the upgrade. Once you've double checked that info, we're going to build our Windows 11 updater ISO. Let's visit the official Microsoft Windows 11 download site and grab the latest installer file. Scroll down to Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Select Windows 11 from the drop down menu and click Confirm. Next, we'll want to select our product language that we double checked earlier and click Confirm. Note, if you end up selecting the wrong install language here, you may run into upgrade issues later in the process. So be sure you select the same language that's currently installed on your PC. Click 64-bit download to start the ISO download. This may take a few minutes to an hour or more, depending on your internet speed. Now, we'll need to grab one more software tool to help us in this process, and that tool is Rufus. Head over to their official website, scroll down to the latest release, and click to download. Once downloaded, launch Rufus and plug in your spare USB flash drive. Next, we'll want to tweak some of the settings for our Windows 11 installer. First, select our Windows ISO we downloaded. Next, let's set the partition scheme to match what you found when we checked your storage drive settings earlier. MBR or GPT will be your options. Again, our lab PC's storage drive is GPT, so we'll select that. Once those are sorted, click Start. Now, we have a few custom install settings to address. At a minimum, select the first box, remove requirement for four gigabytes, plus RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. This will help bypass the Windows 11 system hardware requirement roadblocks. For our lab PC, 
and purposes of this video, I'll just select the following items to remove the hardware requirements and to remove the Microsoft account requirements. Click OK to continue. Once that's completed, let's navigate to the freshly created USB installer, open it up, and double click on the setup file. Click Change How Setup Downloads Updates and select Not Right Now to skip the installer updates for now and click Next. Click Accept to accept the terms and conditions. Once it's gone through a few more setup steps and you're ready to upgrade, click Install. The upgrade process will begin. Your PC may reboot a few times during this process. This is normal. Once the install process is complete, you should be looking at your fresh Windows 11 upgrade. At this point, I highly recommend running Windows updates, check for driver updates, and to start checking out your installed applications. If for some reason Windows 11 performs poorly on your unsupported hardware, or that you're just not thrilled with Windows 11, you can roll back your OS to Windows 10 within 10 days of the upgrade. You can do this by going to Settings, Then System, click Recovery, and click Go Back. This will restore your Windows 10 OS back to before the upgrade. Be patient as it may take some time. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If so, please consider sharing with a friend, smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel for more Windows tips and tricks. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye bye everybody.